a new one today called Lickety Split. We've rehearsed it once. It went so-so. So we'll see how it goes today. Here's how it works. We have a famous celebrity. You saw the tape of the rehearsal. Yes. Famous celebrity covered in Cool Whip, right? Cool Whip. Delicious Cool Whip. And you guys can use above the neck. You can use your face any way you want. You can use your hands to hold. What's the way you side? The hands to hold, to hold Yeah, on. to hold the, the frame. Only. And then you just got to wipe it off with your face. And once you know who it is, you ring the bell. Got it. All got right. it. Who do we have? Okay, we have Plain. We have Simone, who's, who's originally from Minnesota. She works in the county. And then we have Alex. That's a very interesting lady. He, he grew up in San Diego, and he was born on a farm. He was born on a farm. Right, Worked on a farm. Was. Born and raised on a farm. I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to put my money right now on Alex on this. Picture. I got to go with, I believe in you, Simone. I do. Thank I'm, I'm going to go with you. But I think you might be going great with Alex because he's, he's used to messy things. He worked on a farm. So he's not, just doesn't right. scare him. Cool Whip is not scary. <laughs> not not you know why? Man's man. Right there. Man's man. Right? Guy's guy. Dude, dude. Do you know, without saying, do you know who's on it? I do know who's on it. Do okay. you? Okay, I do not. Okay, good. You can tell I know. me during okay. Yeah, okay. Right. You guys ready? Sure. All right. Only hands. Let's hold. Face and head and go. Look at this Sometimes are great items in this box. Really, even better than that. A lot of times cool. it's garbage, girl. Like That's right. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep what Bird you have or hand. trade for what's in the box. Bird in the hand. I'll keep it. I'll keep. I'll keep what was originally given to me. You're gonna keep it. And a girl. She kept and it. A girl. First time. First time. Anyone has not picked the box. I'm Can proud I of you. I mean, I. I, yes. This is my decision. Simone, you have you have I'm made proud of you. you have made a great decision because 20 seconds ago you have nothing. Now, now you, you have 250 dollars. Right? Great Let's see if you make the right choice. <laughs> this is what you could have had. Uh -oh. You made the right call. Congrats, Simone. Event. Always <laughs> fun to have you here. Community. February 7th at 8 o'clock on NBC. Coming up, Rain Wilson shares his plan for life. After the office, be right back. What is he gonna wear when he comes? Out? Like, will he dress like Dwight? Will he dress like a, a boy's <laughs> boy, like me? It was between this and this periwinkle shirt that I had. I mean, <laughs> yeah. For the past nine years, many of us have gotten to know and love him as Dwight Fruit on NBC's The Office. Please welcome Ray Wilson. Nice welcome. Okay, okay. 
So, okay, first impressions. Okay, go. Um, and we don't know each other that well, but a little bit. We a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. Um, do you remember that we played tennis? I do remember. I think I. I think I. Do you I remember was... what you did to me in that tennis game? Oh, I do. Do you remember that? Yeah. You remember that? I hit you very hard. With His serves oh, are fuck you. ridiculous. He just throws it up and just like, hits it as hard as he possibly can, That's not and true. he thwacked me in the back twice. He thwacked me so hard. It was like I had been shot by a cannon. You were. It was. Funny. I will never play tennis with you again. I'll really? play against you. I'm so kidding. Oh, that's right, because we were on the it's same funny. team, and I yeah. served in. The, you which, served into my I back. I served into his back. The yeah. goal, the goal is that's to right. get it over the net. That's all. That's right. All right. Just anyway. So I, I gotta say first. Bro, hey, this is I don't know what I would thought, what I would think you would wear, but no, because you know when you know him as Dwight. Dwight's this crazy combination of really nothing at all cool, which makes him sort of oddly cool, right? Okay. You know what okay. I'm saying. Yeah, I, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And then, but you, I mean, the soul pancake and everything you're doing with Elko, which we're going to talk about, you're actually a super cool guy. Ah. Uh, no, I mean, you are. You thanks. are. Okay. And so, then I'm thinking, so what's he going to wear when he comes to, like, will he dress like Dwight? Will he dress like a, a boy's <laughs> boy like me, which we talked about earlier? And instead, you sort uh -huh. of, you come in the middle. You've got a little bit It was of between this and this periwinkle shirt that I had. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So is it Jenna and Angela, uh, Jenna Fisher and Angela Kinsey, both from your show have been yes. on here, yes. and they both talked about that you guys have a, a bit of magic going on and that it is going to be hard to let the office end. It is. It's, it's very bittersweet. You know, it's been nine years. We'll end and it'll be 200 episodes That's by the amazing. time we're done. And it... It has, like, we have gone through so much together. I mean, we've, we've just, we've matured together. People have gotten married. People have had babies. I had my son, Walter. I didn't have him. My wife actually had him. I don't have a vagina. Can no. you say that? Yes. Yeah. But um, if I did, I would have had him. And uh, I don't know. What am I talking about? He was born during that. You was, just went off in a world that is good yeah, to go into yeah. because if you had a vagina and you had a baby, this would be a totally different story. We'd be talking right, about how right. cool that is. That would be awesome. Yeah. That would be really interesting. But no, um, he was born during the fourth episode of The Office. The first girl, season one? Girl, season one. And now he's eight and a half and he's in second grade. So it's like my son's life and my family life yeah, and the kinda. office life have all happened together. So it's been very bittersweet this we've done we just did the every year we do a Halloween episode and we do a Christmas episode and we do a Valentine's Day episode and we've just wrapped all of those and every time it's like, Oh, that's oh. the very last one we'll ever do. Oh my god. So it's it's very sad but at the same time, yeah, all things must end, and it really is time for the show to come to an end. What will you miss most? Will you miss the, const the constant, you know, the paycheck and the job? Will you miss the camaraderie? Will you miss the role? Because Dwight was really, I mean, that's really seared in people. Well, I say this a lot, but really the thing that I will miss the most is, is probably the most talented team of writers re led by Greg Daniels that I'll ever work with. And every week they somehow find new fresh fascinating weird stuff for Dwight to do and just getting to do that is just the last week we last week I got to um we're looking at a shot of you there oh there we go there, that's good last week um I got I got sh uh, sprayed with a fire hose um into a barn so it's like I got to do all this great physical comedy and this great so I'm gonna miss that a lot but you have new things coming up including working with Oprah Winfrey, yes. who I am a big, I'm actually a big fan of, of Super Soul Sunday and a lot of the shows she's doing yeah, on OWN, yeah. and you're a big part of that. Yeah. We're going to take a break. We'll find out what Rain and Oprah are doing when we come back. She left me a long voice going, but she forgot to hang up, or she hung up wrong, so then I heard the whole conversation she was having. Today we are going to go straight for the big one, aren't we, Oprah? That's right. Because, you know, 
Everybody talks about it. Some say it's just a chemical reaction. Whatever it is, this four-letter word is one of the most fundamental human experiences. We write books and poems and songs about it. We long for it. We fight for it. We travel the world to find it. What is it exactly? You want me to answer that yes. today? Yes. What is it? Right now? Right now. For Tell centuries, me. people have been trying to figure it out? Yeah, and you know the answer. I'm sure you do. Oh, we're going to know by the end of the show. Okay. That was a sneak peek of Oprah and, and Rain present Soul Pancake. It airs on OWN's Emmy award-winning series. In fact, I watched Oprah behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and, and she found out that the episode you did with her won the Emmy, and That's she right. calls you. I think she leaves you a voicemail. Yeah, she left me a, a long voicemail. And it was funny because she left me a long voicemail, but she forgot to hang up or she hung up wrong. So then I heard the whole conversation she was having. But good thing she was only saying nice things about me. Cause yeah, and they been... showed that. They yeah, showed yeah. her going, wait, did I hang up? Yeah, yeah it was very so, funny. All right, so first of all, Super Soul Sunday is a program that Oprah it, does on Sun on yeah on, on her new network on the Oprah Winfrey network uh, she uh, has a block of programming on Sunday mornings called Super Soul Sunday and it really is for people interested in kind of more spiritual and enlightening kind of fair it's pretty deep stuff deep thinkers and cool journeys interesting documentaries and it's a, it's a great fun place to go if you're not watching a football game to go you know kind of enrich your soul on Sunday mornings and this is what I mean about you and I'm not joking now about you being a cool guy because you you love sports you're a guy's guy you wouldn't wear a periwinkle but you would work with Oprah on Super Soul Sunday I watch Super Soul Sunday I like where she goes she goes uh -huh. into areas that make you sort of think and so you have this soul pancake yeah uh, some friends and I and start some friends of mine and I started a website, soulpancake.com, and we just wanted to do something on the web that was uplifting. And the way that we did that is we, we wrestle with life's big questions, like what it means to be a human being. And then we wrote the book afterwards, and the book became a New York Times bestseller. It was really, it was really great. It was really cool. Thanks. And, um, and then... And now we have a YouTube channel, YouTube slash Soul Pancake, so we get to do a lot of cool content uh, on our YouTube channel. And during this time, I met with Oprah and I did her Soul Series podcast on spirituality, talking about Soul Pancake and my own spiritual journey and life journey and philosophical journey. And then I went and met with Own, and we've been doing some short pieces for them. And this is kind of a pilot for a show that we hope to do that explores life's big questions and wrestles with these big human questions. And this one that's airing on Sunday is about love. It yeah. explores love from Told every you. different facet. Did you, so you're working with Oprah, uh, who's been around and asked yeah. a lot of people a lot of questions. Do you, what do you find about love? What did you discover? What is what love? I discover about love? You know, I just, what I discovered about love is how little I know about it. I mean, it's, it, there's so many facts to it. I mean, love holds a family together, and then there's, you love nature, and love can give you energy, and certainly there's romantic love. We know about that, mm -hmm. but there's a fascinating doctor that we interviewed in our special, Dr. Magliato, and she explores this syndrome called broken heart syndrome, where people's hearts can literally stop because of broken hearts. Literally stop beating? Yeah. They'll literally have heart attacks, and they literally sometimes die from just the great stress that's mm. called by, mm. caused by losing love, by mm. having a broken heart. Like, it's, it's a, such a powerful emotion, it, it guides everything that we do. Yeah. And, you know, we've had people on here who've had near-death experiences, mm. a few of them. One consistent answer from all of them, when you say, so what did you learn? They, they say, I've been there, mm -hmm. I've come back, and the message is, it's all about love, and that's it, and nothing else. It's only about love. It's amazing. So, yeah, there yeah. is a theme. What is it like working with Oprah? She's amazing. I mean, she's so cool. I mean, here's this billionaire magnate, you know, but she's just so much fun and just giggly and cool, and that's why people love her, because you can, you can totally relate to her. Yeah, is, is she still relatable? That's the question totally. I have when you're a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She, you, talk about, you can talk about anything with her. You can talk about gardening or food or... And so do you have the same whatever it would be, angst or anxiousness about ratings and response that you would on The Office, or is this more personal even than The Office? Yeah, I'm not so worried about ratings. I mean, what we're tackling is very different. You know, I know we're not going to get billions of people to watch it, 
but I hope that the people that do watch it Enjoy. really respond to it and it resonates on a deeper level. Love it. All right, when we come back, Rain talks about the loves in his life. We'll be right back. I have an eight-year-old son, and basically I am a giant punching bag. I walk in the door, and he just starts kicking and hitting me. He just like, sees me, and he's like, Hey, ya, come back! After Rain Wilson has been married to his wife, Holiday since 1995. We kind of talked about this. You have a son who's eight and a half years old. There's yep. your woman. Yeah. Right there. Woohoo! Do you ever... This happens to most guys. I've always felt that most guys, um, you know, they, they move up the food chain when they marry, and most women settle for a guy <laughs> a little. I, that's what I... That's what I think. When Aww. it comes to... when it. All right, I'm going to be honest. When it comes to looks, you rarely see a... A uh, really handsome guy with a less attractive woman, but you often see a beautiful woman with a less attractive guy, right? Thank God. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> when you look like when I see my wife, there are days when you know I come in here and she's dressed. I'm like, God, how did I end up in this world with yeah. this smart, beautiful woman? I'm just seeing a picture of your wife. She's gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, we've been together for 22 years, you know. And really, yeah. Yeah, but uh, she, I'm one of those, I found one of those incredibly beautiful, interesting, brilliant women. She's a writer. She's a fiction writer who uh, really likes the funny guys. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the family shot. Oh, look at that. What's life like? Where were you guys this day? Give us insight into, into the family life. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even remember that photograph being taken. That's crazy. Do you remember that hat you were sporting? I... That's not my hat. Is that me? I don't know. I don't know. What is life like on That's a... not my family. <laughs> so, uh-oh. Yeah. Sunday, when you have Super Bowl and you have, but you have your own show on, what will life be like? Will you sit in the couch and watch your show? Yeah, I'm going to do some live tweeting during the, uh, the Soul Pancake show on OWN, and then I'll watch the Super Bowl. I don't... I don't know. So the live tweeting. Oh, that's going to work. Well, yeah. the, the live tweeting. So it's, a, it's just amazing. I'm going to your house to watch the Super Bowl. That's what's happening. Oh, that's right. Okay. I've got a, a tennis ball machine. Yeah. I don't even have to serve. I'm just going <laughs> to spit them out at you all day. Yeah. So the social media thing, I've done some of that live tweeting yeah. during Survivor episodes. It's fantastic that somebody can get a hold of you. Yeah. Right? And yeah. you can hear from them, I really like that, or on Twitter quite often. That sucked. Right. They tell you what they think, right? right? Yeah, sure. So what is it about that interaction that you enjoy? You know, it's, 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 it is, it's that. It's the interactivity. It's like you do this TV show, and you know it's beamed out to millions of homes. And sometimes you'll be walking along, and people are like, Oh, it's Dwight. Hey, you're funny. So you kind of get a sense that people are watching the show. But you don't really have that, that kind of that interactivity. So... Yeah, getting to see fans and their crazy little photos and hearing what they have to say, it's, it's really cool. Have you ever gone down the rabbit hole in terms of somebody writing something snarky uh -huh. and you deciding, you know what, I'm in the mood for this. And you so you go it. back at them? You go yeah, back yeah, at yeah. Them. I, that's happened with me. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But it's, it's never about the show or anything. I was entitled to their opinion, but it's usually about issues that I'm really passionate about. Like, you know, like what? Like what climate change or health care. You know, these are some things that I'm really passionate about that culturally we need to provide health care. I'm also really a believer in climate change science. And people are like, oh, it's not happening with climate change. Like, it just drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. And what are you like as a dad? Because you're a funny guy who's socially aware mm -hmm. and spiritually alive. It's a great combination. Yeah. Right. Well, well, you'd you, think I'd be a better dad, but I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm terrible. No, it's so, you know, that's the funny thing about being a dad. So I have an eight-year-old son, and basically I am a giant punching bag. I walk in the door, and he just starts kicking and hitting me. He just like, sees me, and he's like, hey, ya, come back! Anytime, anytime he just attacks me. What is that? Because Michael has started, he loves, he says, tense up, dad, and then he'll hit me. My son doesn't say tense up. And he's like, hi, Dada. And he's, he's getting strong, yes. too. 
Yeah. That's the thing. I yeah. mean, I'm getting welts, and yeah. it's nine. Yeah. So at what point do we say, like, you got to manage We fight it. back. We fight back, Jeff, and hard. When we come back, we're going to find out. This book is full of amazingly, uh, really interesting sort of life questions. One of them, I have a bunch I marked for you today. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. One of them is, uh -oh. what would you literally chop off your little toe for right now? We'll find out when we come back. I would chop off my little toe to allow, oh, let's say... If you're going to be in the L.A. area, go to jeffprobst.com and say yes to being in our live studio audience. Jeff Probst, though. <laughs>